Alright, hey guys, so today I'm going to be taking a look at a game called The Big Journey. This is set to release on Steam in a few days. It's a very casual platformer. It's almost like a kid's game. It's very charming visually, and it's quite a bit of fun. You play as this circular cat, and you pretty much roll him around the stage. His favorite things to eat were piping hot and tender dumplings cooked by someone special, the talented Mr. Chu. But one day, no matter how much Mr. Whiskers meowed at the door, Mr. Chu's shop didn't open. A familiar smell tickled his nose and led him to a dumpling, and another, and another, and he realized it was a dumpling trail that seemed to be marching towards the mountain. Maybe Mr. Chu has been kidnapped or fell into a well, or was kidnapped and thrown in a well. Mr. Whiskers was determined to find Mr. Chu, even though his friend Lil' Al warned him. Careful, kitty, the world is so big, and you can follow your nose right into trouble. But if you keep your eyes and your heart open, you can find good friends and good times. And you'll see the world isn't so scary after all. Just as long as there are things to eat, thought Mr. Whiskers, that was the important part. And so the big journey began. So as you can pretty much tell, it's very similar to like a uh, children's storybook. Um, but once we get into the game, you'll see it's, it's very charming and very colorful. Alright, so let's start with uh, stage one. Already played it uh, recently, but we're gonna play it again. Green Hills. So pretty much the game is you basically rotate the level and you roll the cat around, and you can also jump. <laughs> and it's just a very very cute looking game. Honestly, this game might be on um, iOS devices as well. I think it would be more fun if you had a uh, like a tablet or something that you can rotate. I'm just using a controller. Oops, got one. Let's go get the last little bug there. All right, so he's just telling me all sorts of little hints. Catstagram, cat, hashtag cat, fun, and whiskers. Oops. Can't forget that. Oh, wait. So just wait here. Yay. Love the music, too. Very, very charming soundtrack. The game almost reminds me a little bit of Katamari. Every time I eat a dumpling, my little cat will get bigger and bigger. <laughs> just such a cute game. So adorable. Alright, eat all the dumplings, collect the bugs, and finish the level in time to complete all goals and get all the stars. Hooray! Got an achievement. Woo! <laughs> so if you like really cute and casual games, you might really enjoy this. Um, it doesn't seem to be very difficult at all, although I haven't gotten too far, so... I'm not entirely sure, but just the way it is so, so far, it just seems to be like a very silly little game. Oops. There we go. What's that? Be careful, kitty. Those enemies can steal your dumplings by hitting you. Try to knock them out. Jump into them and hit them. Okay. okay. So I can just jump on them and they instantly die, basically. I think I missed something up there. I'll have to see, maybe. Maybe I can go back. Yep. Got that dumpling. This is the type of game that you play if you're like stressed out and you just want a nice, chill, calming, relaxing experience. Somebody can't be knocked out, just jump over them. Love the art style. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on? I'm getting like too fat. What is this? 
or the spikes, they can steal your dumplings. Oh no! I think I got it back. Oh, what is this, a raccoon? Hello, I'm looking for Mr. Chu. He makes the best dumplings in the world. He's gone missing. Have you seen him? Afraid not. I never eat dumplings anyway, only bamboo. Sure, it's hard to find, hard to chew, and harder to digest, but it's, uh, well, care to try some? Alright, blah 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 blah. Mr. Red Panda. He's a panda, even if he doesn't look like one. So, there's a bunch of, like, animals you can find and collect, and the more animals you find, um, the more, like, skins you can unlock, and you can unlock different characters to play as. Oops. No, I missed one. There's another little, char little character. I'm just gonna skip through the dialogue. Hooray, Sushi Cat. A squishy blue kitty that really loves sushi. Let's see what's over here. Yep, hidden dumpling. Almost missed that one. Alright, I think I completed the uh, bonus objective. Ah, no. Alright, there we go. I don't even think you can die in this game, honestly. <laughs> Just a fat cat rolling around. Alright, so that's the end of the level. Victory. So I'm not sure how many stages there are. Might be five stages per world. Oh no! Can I restart? Yes, I can. Alright. <laughs> I went a little bit too far. Uh, you can't jump very high, so if you manage to go too far, um, you can't go back, which kind of sucks. This is definitely a collect-a-thon type game. What if those bees are dangerous? Like, I'm sure they are. Oops. Yeah, well, I missed one. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's something below that log. Might have been a way to get down there. It's such a simple game, though. Like, there's really not a whole lot going on. Which I would say is the definite, definite like drawback. There's like no challenge whatsoever, and you're really just like going with the flow. There's no real, uh, no real obstacles or anything. At least not in these early levels. I mean, these are technically obstacles, but like, nothing really is really like hurting me. I can't die. Just press the button. Hooray! Wait, I wonder if there's anything to the left. Nope. I always feel like there's like hidden passageways where you can't see. Every platformer has them. <laughs> the cat is just so adorable. Alright, another little friend. Blah blah. Mr. Boo, the biggest honey fiend in the forest. Alright, so it looks like you don't have to collect all the bugs in each level, you just have to collect 100. Makes sense. Alright, now I'm the fattest cat in the land. Let's get out of here. Hooray. So I guess what I'll do is I'll complete the first five levels. I'm just kind of curious to see, like, what happens after, or if there's, like, something that happens at the end of level five. Rainy slides. Okay, a new little environment. Oops. You see, like, I, like, don't take damage. I guess it's just super casual. Definitely, in my opinion, this is definitely a kid's game. Which isn't a bad thing. I mean, 
a lot of very, uh, very charming games are kids' games. Just games that really don't have a whole lot of challenge. I mean, control-wise, I'm not really doing much either. I'm just tilting the screen back and forth. Oops. Right, I guess I'll miss that one. Doesn't matter. Oops. Alright, Mr. Alligator. Oh crap. <laughs> I almost thought that was a glitch. I was like stuck in the thing for a little while. Up we go. Tiny bugs. Complete. It's kind of funny because if you hit him, you lose a dumpling, but if you hit him again, nothing happens. Uh, it looks like I missed one dumpling on that level. Probably hidden somewhere. Alright. On to level 5. It'd be hilarious if there was only 5 levels in the entire game. <laughs> it's such a short little game. Alright, so now we're at the carnival. I don't know if there's anything back here. Oh, there is. There's hidden areas. Not ah, crap. Got an achievement, Monster Hunter Jr. Okay. Pick up this platform. Can I jump? Very charming. Alright. Kinda wish they would add a little bit more variety to the levels though. Like so far, it, it, it feels like I've been playing the same stage like over and over again, just with different backgrounds. It definitely feels like an iOS game or a mobile game. I'm not really even trying to get the bugs, I don't really care. Oops. No. No, what? <laughs> That's kind of weird. The dumpling came out and landed on me, but I didn't pick it up. For whatever reason. Another animal friend. Yeah. Miss Foxy, a clever fashionist. Oh. This level is really long compared to the other ones. Alright, that seems 
to do in the level. First of five. The first five levels have been completed. It didn't seem like there was anything different about the fifth level, but I guess there's a cutscene after every five levels. But he thought about how Mr. Chu might be afraid too, and knew there was no time for a cat nap. Chapter two, Dark Knight in the Woods. All right, so this is chapter two. It's basically the same thing over and over again, at least in my opinion. Like so far, um, I would say, like personally, this is this is very much a, a children's game. Um, there's not a whole lot of variety. It, it's kind of lacking in that department. And I'm not saying like the uh, like visually, there's a lot of variety, but um, in terms of gameplay, you're just doing the same thing over and over again, and just like rolling to the left or right, and there's not really any like puzzles or anything like keeping you entertained. I, mean, I guess you could consider this a puzzle, but you're just like jumping up here, pressing the button. I don't know. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick look at the big journey. Hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It comes out um, in a couple days on Steam, so you might want to check it out. I have no idea how much it's going to cost, uh, but it's, if it's only like a couple dollars or so, it might be an enjoyable little experience. It does have Steam achievements, which is kind of nice. So uh, yeah, that's just a quick look of the big journey. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.